Class 11 Accountancy Numerical Problem Solutions Presented by Edixit.com In this video, we are going to provide Bank Reconciliation Statement Unfavorable Balance of Passbook Solutions Problem 16 Solution The problem statement is as follows. Raghav and Co. have two bank accounts. Account number 1 and account number 2. From the following particulars relating to account number 1, find out the balance on that account as of March 31st, 2000 plus, according to the cash book of the firm. 1. Checks paid into bank prior to March 31st, 2000 plus, but not credited for 10,000 rupees. 2. Transfer of funds from account number 2 to account number 1 recorded by the bank on March 31st, 2000 plus, but entered in the cash book after that date for 8,000 rupees. 3. Checks issued prior to March 31st, 2000 plus, but not presented until after that date for 7,429 rupees. 4. Bank charges debited by bank not entered in the cash book for 200 rupees. 5. Interest debited by the bank not entered in the cash book 580 rupees. 6. Overdraft as per passbook 18,990 rupees. Before we proceed with the analysis of these particulars, let's first recap about why there is a need for reconciliation. By preparing the bank reconciliation statement, we get an idea about why there is a difference between the cash book and the passbook balances. The difference could be due to timing difference on recording the transaction, errors made by the business or the bank. Few reasons of the timing difference are checks issued by the business but not yet presented for the payment. When the business issues a check to the supplier or creditor, they are immediately entered on the credit side of the cash book. The supplier or creditor has to encash this check by presenting it in the bank. In some cases, the creditor or supplier may not present this check immediately in the bank. So, when the bank statement is received by the firm, as this check is not yet presented by the creditor or supplier, this will not be there in the bank statement. This is one reason. The next reason is, checks paid into the bank but not yet collected. When the business receives checks from its customers or debtors, they are immediately recorded in the debit side of the cash book. So, the cash book shows more amount to be available with the bank. These checks could be from a bank which is not in the same city or town. Sometimes, the business might have an account in one branch and the check could be from a different branch altogether. In such cases, the bank may not have collected this check amount by the time the bank statement is received by the firm. So, there will be difference in the cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. This is one more reason. The next reason is direct debits made by the bank on behalf of the customer. Sometimes, the bank deducts the amount for various services from the business bank account. The business will not be aware of these deductions until the bank statement is received by the firm. Some of the examples of such deductions are check collection charges, interest on overdraft, etc. As the business does not know about these direct debits, they will not be recorded in the business cash book. So, obviously, there will be difference between the business cash book and the bank passbook balances. This is one more reason. The next reason is interest and dividends collected by the bank. When the bank collects interest and dividend on behalf of the customer, then these are immediately created to the customer's account. Note here that the term customer refers to our business and not our business customers. In other words, this means that the interests or dividends collected by the bank on behalf of our business. But the business will not know about these transactions until the bank statement is received. So, there will be difference in the cash book and the bank passbook balances. There are other reasons also, but to limit the scope of these differences to this problem, let us consider only these four reasons for timing difference. Errors committed in recording the transaction by the firm. 
One of the errors could be due to the omission or wrong recording of transactions relating to checks issued, checks deposited, and wrong totaling etc. committed by the firm while recording the entries in the cash book. This will cause a difference between the cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. In addition to this, I want to reiterate that when there is any debit entry in the business cash book, the corresponding entry in the bank passbook would be in the credit side. And if there is any credit entry in the business cash book, the corresponding entry in the bank passbook would be in the debit side. We have to keep this in mind. Now with this information at our disposal, let us now proceed with the analysis of each of these details in the problem. As we have to consider the passbook balance as the starting point, we will consider the details at the end of this list first, even though it is the last item in the list. Here it is given that the overdraft balance as per the passbook is given as 18,990 rupees. As you know, the overdraft balance means that there is debit balance in the passbook and we call the overdraft or debit balance as unfavorable balance of passbook. So in this problem, the debit or overdraft balance as per the passbook is given and we need to find the balance in the business cash book. Let us first enter these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the title as bank reconciliation statement as of March 31st, 2000 plus. Let us have the individual columns for serial number, particulars, amount that should be added and amount that should be deducted. Let us first write the particulars as overdraft as per the passbook. As this is debit or unfavorable balance in the passbook, we need to write this amount of 18,990 rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that a check for 10,000 rupees is paid into the bank, but it is not yet created. Before depositing this check into the bank, the business would debit this check amount in the cash book. But due to the timing difference, this check is not yet collected by the bank by the time the bank statement is received by the firm. So this check amount is not yet created in the passbook. So obviously, there will be difference between the cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. So we need to add this amount to the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as check deposited but not yet cleared. Let us then write this amount of 10,000 rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that the funds are transferred from one account to another account but they were not yet entered in the cash book. When these funds are transferred from account number 2 to the account number 1, they are supposed to be debited in the cash book as this transaction is in the knowledge of the business. As this is not entered in the cash book, clearly this is an error from the business side. Now when it comes to the passbook, this transferred amount will be created in the passbook of account number 1. As this amount is not debited in the cash book, there will be difference in the cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. Here our aim is not to correct this error, but to find the cash book balance with the bank passbook balance as the starting point. So we need to deduct this amount from the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as funds transfer into account but not enter into cash book. Let us then write this amount of 8000 rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. In this case, the checks for 7429 rupees are entered before March 31st, 2000 plus, but they are not yet presented for payment. Before issuing these checks, the business will credit these checks amount in the cash book and then issues them to the creditors or supplier or whoever. However, as these checks are not yet presented for payment, they are not yet debited in the bank passbook. So obviously, there will be difference between the cash book balance and the passbook balances. 
So we need to deduct this check amount from the passbook balance to get the cashbook balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as checks issued but not yet presented for payment. Let us write this amount of 7,429 rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that 200 rupees of bank charges are debited by the bank but not entered in the cash book. When the bank debits the bank charges, the business is not aware of these deductions until the bank statement is received. So these bank charges will not be there in the business cash book. So obviously, there will be difference between the business cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. So we need to add this amount to the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as bank charges. Let us write this amount of 200 rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. In this case, an interest amount of 580 rupees is debited by the bank in the bank passbook. As the business has overdraft balance, the bank will charge interest on this amount. So this amount will be directly debited in the passbook. But the business will not be aware of these interest charges until the bank statement is received. So obviously, there will be difference between the business cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. So we need to add this amount to the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as interest debited by bank. Let us now write this amount of 580 rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. In fact, we have completed the recording of all the details into the bank reconciliation statement. The next step is to find the balance as per the cash book. Now, the total of all the entries in the plus amount column is 10,780 rupees. And the total of all the entries in the minus amount column is 34,419 rupees. From 34,419 rupees, if you subtract 10,780 rupees, we get 23,639 rupees. This is the cash book balance and now let's record this. Let us first write the particulars as overdraft as per cash book. As we have started with the passbook overdraft balance, we need to write the cash book overdraft balance of 23,639 rupees in the plus amount column. Now the total of all the entries in the plus amount column is 34,419 rupees. Similarly, the total of all the entries in the minus amount column is 34,419 rupees. With that, we have come to the end of this solution. Thanks for watching. Edixit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements. To watch all our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Also, please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published. Please click on the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.